Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I've made around $250,000 in the last one year. I know that sounds fucking crazy, um, but in my website design agency, even to me that sounds crazy because the company is only about a year old. Um, let me pull up Stripe just to show you. Okay, so I'm busy logging into my Stripe account right now. And then, um, so we can see I'm expecting $23,000 uh, 23, in like three days, but my, my gross volume so far is 224. Let's say in the last, in the year to date, okay, the year, the year hasn't ended yet. It's probably gonna be 200,000 pounds, so 200,000 GBP to USD. That's like $250,000 per year that I'm making in my first year of business. So like, let's look at this all time. You can see that I started with like making a thousand dollars, thousand pounds in my first month, which is a thousand dollars. By the way, guys, <clears throat> all of my business is from the US. So even though it's, it says pounds, my company is registered in the UK. Um, I'm South African. I figured out how to register my company in the UK and I do all my business in the US. Um, so in this video, I just want to show you like literally what I did and I'll give you the steps to do this. So um, I run a company called King Contractor Agency and I've been doing website design personally for like for a few years, right? And I decided that, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna create an agency where I don't do the website design myself anymore. I want to sell the website design and then just sit back and let my team execute. So what I decided to do was niche down. I chose contractors as a niche, but truly there are like hundreds of really good niches, right? So I said, okay, I'm gonna work with contracting companies, right? Now, why would I niche down? Let me give you two reasons why, why choosing a niche is super duper important. Well, firstly, if you're just a normal freelancer and someone comes to you for you know a website, you're gonna to have to understand the business for the first time again. You're not even gonna have experience with that type of business previously, so it's gonna be a tougher sell, right? So you're gonna to need to do research and strategy and figure out how are we actually gonna get this website to work for the client. So when you niche down, what you do is you say, hey, I'm going to understand one industry and I'm going to put that, I'm going to document that strategy and I'm going to make sure that that strategy is replicatable, right? So what I've actually done is I've done this also and I've created a sheet called the Sheet of Kings. Okay, I've just gone ahead and like hidden the links so that you guys don't freaking type it in anywhere or anything like that. But I've, I've created the sheet like um, standard operating procedures. So I've gone and, you know, I've documented the entire website design process um, when we build out these websites for these contracting companies. So, so this is the actual step-by-step uh, -step process that my project manager would follow, right? Um, and then we've actually, I've created this website design template, this website design blueprint for my niche, for my type of business that I'm going to help serve, right? So all that I did honestly was step one, choose a niche, boom, okay, I chose a niche. I registered the domain and then I went onto Facebook and I said, hey guys, I build websites or I do marketing for this niche. And now I decided to take on that persona as that individual, as that company. And then slowly by bringing business on, more business starts coming on. And over in one year only, you can make $250,000. I know it sounds freaking crazy, but I'm living proof that it works. Um, so yeah, so then I put these these SOPs together and what I did was I hired some people off of Fiverr that could you know help execute every time I bring a new business on board. They can just follow my SOPs. My project manager can make sure that you know when I bring a client on board, they complete the onboarding form. Then once the onboarding form is completed, we write the content for the website based on this SOP. Then once we've got the content, we give it to the designer to design around. So you just go on to Fiverr, right, like this, <clears throat> and then you say UI UX designer, and then you find someone that does really good UI UX design, but like for websites, right? So uh, website design, there's a cool one. You know, I've got my usual ones that that I that I use a lot, but like this looks really good, seventy five bucks right? Where are you ever going to get this done for 75 bucks? So, so then you get the design done, right? You buy it, you, you give them all the details, all the SOPs, whatever it is. And you say, Hey, please make this. Um, and then once they design it, that's just the design. Then you show the client, they approve it. Then you give it to a developer, right? So then what you would want to do is you would want to go into like a developer, get like a, just anyone that, that can do 
WordPress website design, redesign much more. But you want to, honestly, actually the best place is to go onto Facebook. You go Divi Designers, because I use Divi for all of my websites. Divi Web Designer. There's a ton of people in it. You post in your, hey, I'm looking for some devs. They'll message you. They're $8 an hour. You already have the Figma or Adobe XD file. They just need to create a pixel-perfect version of that. You use SiteGround to um, to do your hosting. SiteGround's super cheap. Uh, then the devs design it in Divi using the, the Figma file, and boom, you give it to the client, and you're done. Charge 7000 to 10000 bucks per website because I've, I've established myself in the space, and I've built up a portfolio. So now when... <clears throat> You know, when someone, when someone, when I chat to someone on Facebook, let me show you what it looks like. Keep in mind, this this is for this is for mobile, so that's why it looks like this. But <clears throat> this is what it looks like when they land on like my landing page, which is you know ultra performance roofing websites, better results, better price, better design, and it shows some of my work. And I said, you know, the reason we're able to do it is because of our blueprints. Um, you know, we've got the best blueprints, reverse engineered the strategies of the best and the best. Um, you know, the three essential pillars to an ultra performance website and it's like traffic like no trust and conversion rate uh show them more stuff and boom they book a call so people are booking themselves into my calendar every day and um you can see i get like five to ten uh uh meetings booked into my calendar every single week right now we're we're right up on christmas so there's nothing really going on here but this is what it would look like normally like um, you know, look at all these people booking into my calendar. It's just absolutely crazy that it gets to this point. So if you if you really wanted to, to build a business that allows you to travel full time like I do, if you check out my Instagram, I, I travel full time all year round. Um, I visit my family in South Africa once. I've got a team of like 10 people all working online, managed by my project manager. We have multiple service offerings for this niche. Um, there's just... A, you know, a niche web design agency is just one of those agencies that, you know, I prefer it way more than doing a marketing agency. Because with a marketing agency, you're going to be running your Facebook ads yourself until you get a media buyer. And then also, when it doesn't perform, you, you feel like absolute shit. With with a website, um, it can't not perform. You, you What you see is what you get, right? And if you make sure that you've got all the right SOPs in place to get your SEO done properly, you're literally selling the best of the best. And on top of that, like if I look at my competitors, right? Like this is a, a, a massive competitor of mine that's also in the contracting space. They sell their websites for 20,000. So when I look at my websites, like this is my proposal, right? Um, you know, three reasons you can't sleep on this. We show them what we do, how we do it, you know, what's included, some examples, stuff like that. I sell my websites for half the price. So I've got a lot more value that I'm bringing in, right? I don't have expensive offices. This, so, yeah, guys, if you, if you want any more videos from me or if you have any questions for me at all, um, I'd love to start making videos on, you know, niche web design, how I've done it, my processes. I'll give you another secret. It's all, all about your Facebook, my dude. You want to you wanna get into Facebook, get into those Facebook groups, like set up your profile, just DM a ton of people, get a VA to DM your ideal prospect, right? Um, so I've got testimonials on my Facebook. I've pinned this with the website that we've done. Um, you know, I'm posting on Facebook. I'm showing them that I'm part of like active communities and that I'm like, um, you know, making videos and chatting to clients and showing testimonials and just being a real human. Um, your name really gets around and people are booking themselves into my calendar at this point. So um, like I don't even have my website up anymore because we're busy migrating it. It hasn't been up for a month and I'm still able to do like $30,000 per month in the last two months. Right. So <clears throat> it's, it's just absolutely freaking crazy to me. Um, you know, there's, there's so much that goes into it that I've wanted to create a course for a very long time, but I almost don't even know where to start. So yeah, like I said, if you have any questions for me, please let me know. Follow me on Instagram, which is Dean X white so at dean x white if you found any value in this video that's the only thing i ask is like maybe drop a like or subscribe or honestly that's only if you want to um if you think that i can help you um achieve what you want to achieve okay thank you so much for your time bye bye